Hey guys, I'm here with a coloring video, sort of kind of like a tutorial. Today, I will be sharing with you guys something that I've been working on. Of course, a whip, work in progress. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve skin tones with the Hero colored pencils already done her neck now I need to work on her face so <clears throat> let's finish her up guys so if you saw my last video I did a review of this hermit shell pencil case and I forgot well I didn't forget but I just um, realized or discovered a feature of this case check this out you can okay okay now it wants to be all difficult <laughs> the front and back sections of the pencil cases are velcro so you can take it out and just have a sleeve like so so that's the front and the back section has Velcro on it. That's pretty cool. But the cons of this pencil case still exist. <laughs> I don't like the, the fact that, you know, the pencils get either bundled up or they move a little bit too much. So I decided to put my Hero pencils in here because I haven't been using my beloved Hero pencils as much since I've gotten my Prisma colors, and then I have a few more sets that I want to try out. So the Prismas, not, not the Prismas, the Hero pencils have been suffering neglect. But, oh well, they're going to get a little bit of love today. So I decided to put them in this case so that I can travel with them. So I not only put the 160 of the hero pencils in here but i was also able to stuff <laughs> my 24 count prismacolor premieres in here so i'll be able to take me one little small set of prisma premieres wherever i go and my full 160 of my heroes and they'll be completely completely protected no matter where i go no matter how far they have to travel they'll be protected so i like that i love that thought so that's a good, I'm not regretting the purchase of this case at all. I actually really, really, really like the fact that it's hardcover and I can actually stuff a lot of pencils in there and I don't care about them not being in order, you know, so to speak, because no matter what, I still have to look at my color chart with the hero pencils regardless. So that is a goodie for me for that. Okay, so let's get on to our demonstration so this tones or the pencils that i'm using on this lovely picture are these five tones here i have the 039 107 155 111 and 051. These are what I used for her skin tone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my lightest color, which is my 155. And let's start down here with a just a very, very light layer. And I'm not, you know, being super neat. I'm just trying to lay down some color. And I'm going kind of slanted with it. And I have to be careful not to get on her lips. Because those lips, boy, I tell you, they I see some purple getting off onto my um, page already. That Those are those, that that's those, um, what do you call those, Derwent? Now, you see what just happened here? If you can, you probably, yeah, you can see that. It... I turned my pencil barrel and the sharpest end touched the paper. So that gives a very harsh line when you 
you, your sharper end touches the barrel, I mean, touches the paper of your pencil lead, it gives a very sharp line and it makes pencil marks in your picture. So I'm not doing tiny circles or anything. I'm just doing lines, laying down color. I'm trying to keep my pressure in my hand consistent because it's making like harder, harsher lines in certain areas. So I'm trying to keep my pressure light and I'm not going to color her area here above her eyelids because she's definitely going to have to have some eyeshadow on. I'm going to have to make her face up and put her some eyelashes on and just diva, dollar diva her up. She got her lashes from the Dollar Tree when they had those kiss eyelashes for a dollar. Yes, she went to the Dollar Tree and got her some lashes. So she is a dollar diva. <laughs> she has a story behind this picture. And it's interesting. Um. One of the my our fellow YouTubers. Sorry about that, guys. I lost uh, a lot of footage. I don't know why my camera just turned off. But, guys, I was in the middle of a good conversation telling you guys a lot of good stuff. But, ugh, the crazy camera just shut off. Like, really? So anyway, I was giving you a tip. I was telling you a story about that I like telling, what, whatever. Okay, I'm just, I'm totally annoyed with Mr. Camera right now. So we're just gonna switch gears and I'm just gonna give you a tip about these hero pencils. Remember that you cannot do more than four or five layers with these pencils before it starts rejecting layers. <laughs> so that's why I have a maximum of these five colors. Because I know it's not going to allow me to put many more colors on here than four or five. So once you get to that fourth and fifth color that that layer you had better be ready to start just burnishing or not adding any more color because it's pretty much done 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 a done deal All right, so now I'm going to my next darkest color and I need to sharpen a little bit. I think I want to use this sharpener this time. That's good enough. This is my next darkest color, number 51. And it definitely takes some patience with layering these skin tones. And I'm kind of going at a slant. It takes patience with, I guess, color pencils in general because they're a slow medium, I've heard. <laughs> But you know, I am totally impatient. And I'm getting a few lines because my pressure automatically tries to, maybe I'll pull the pencil back a little bit further like people tell me to do. I'm still getting lines because I'm getting impatient. <laughs> oh well. We'll try to smooth that out. And just remember when you're coloring, 
if you so-called mess something up, you don't mess anything up in reality. You know, it may not be what you wanted it to be, but you can always fix it. And if you can't fix it with acrylic paint or glitter or marker or erasing it or however, if you can't fix it, then just buy another book. You know. But I always seem to be able to fix my mistakes. If I have a mistake in my um, coloring book, something that I don't like, that didn't come out right, I usually can fix it with glitter, stickles, acrylic paint. Yep, so. You can always fix it, guys. Don't be scared to try things. Now I'm going to my next darkest color, which is 039. And I think I want to switch directions. Instead of going coloring this way diagonally, I think I'm going to color it this way. Give it a little bit more coverage. I'm on layer, what is this, four? So it's almost time for these pencils to stop accepting layers. And you'll know when it when it has done that. You'll know when it's ready to Stop allowing you to add color and layers because it'll feel really, really waxy on your paper. It'll feel like nothing is going down. You'll feel like no color is just gliding over it and nothing is happening. Oh, I got to let up off this pencil. I don't know. I just have to have a death grip. And even though I'm holding the pencil way back on the barrel, I still have the death grip on it. I don't know why. I guess that's just me and the way I hold pencils. I feel like I don't have control of the pencil when I don't have the death grip on it. If that makes any sense at all. Okay, guys, we're starting to get some color to our lady friend here. Uh-oh, got a little bit too heavy-handed right there. I made a, a mark, a heavy mark. You see that heavy mark? Oops, sorry, lady. Okay, now we've done that. Now I'm going to take my darkest color, which is 107. And I am going to go in a, with medium pressure and I'm going to try to cover more white spaces because it's almost time for the layers to stop. So, and you can see it right away that that color is coming down. You see it? There you go. I have medium pressure. And I'm I'm being I'm using very short quick strokes with medium pressure. Small circles here. Back to 
short, quick lines. And I'm going to do small circles with the, I'm turning my barrel to that sharp edge because I do want that harsh edge. I want control. So I'm doing small circles around her lips so that I can have control. And I do want that darker. I do want it dark so I keep turning my barrel because I want a straight line. I'm turning my pencil barrel. If you're doing a large space, you don't want to um, turn that barrel where you'll get that harsh line. If that makes sense, guys, I'm turning my barrel to keep that sharp line where I want it. But if I was just coloring like like this, I wouldn't want that sharp area of my barrel there because it will definitely leave a line. OK, so now let's go back to my dull area, my dull part of my pencil. I know right now she's looking all weird, but don't worry. She's going to come together, guys. Her skin is not going to have the pigment losing disease, I promise you. Okay, go on up here to the top. And if you wanted to do a lighter skin tone, then, you know, you would just alter your colors. I probably, probably will do another picture in here with you guys, maybe. Um, with like, there's like four or five different faces. So we can do like a few different color skin tones using the Hero Pencils. To give you guys some color combination ideas. Of how to accomplish the skin tones. want to be very careful around this black eyebrow because I don't want that black to come out of its place and smear where it doesn't belong. But fortunately, these oil pencils don't have a whole lot of problem with smearing like the Prismacolors do. And they don't have a lot of dust coming from them like the Prismas do, but I'm getting used to the Prismas. I'm, I'm learning them a lot better. It has a tiny bit of dust, but not much. Okay, guys, so I know she looks super weird and painted and pasty and crazy right now, but now we're going to do our last kind of last layer. I'm going to take my lightest color pencil, which is my 155, and I'm going to do heavy pressure, hard pressure, to try to blend everything together. And if it still doesn't blend and look right, then I'll pull out the old trusty mineral spirit, odorless mineral spirit Gamsol type of stuff. <laughs> okay, so let's get this lightest color here and do heavy pressure and kind of try to burnish 
and blend all the colors together. And that's what they're doing. They're doing exactly that. All of the different tones are coming together beautifully. It's taking that white space out, those white spots. I may have to blend under her lips a little bit more with my medium color 039 because it's not blending like I want it to. So I'm going to take it out a little bit. Take that color out. I was a little bit too heavy handed around her lips. Try to soften those edges up. There we go. Going back to my 155 and get my blunt, smooth area of my pencil. And I'm bearing down pretty heavy handed, guys. I know a lot of you are like, mm mm. You know what? I really want to try something. I'm going to try my Gamsol with, or my bootleg Gamsol with my paintbrush, my little paintbrush to see how the blending looks if I did this. Mm, no, I guess that's too much. Well, that works, but it's a little bit too light. Oh, that blends it out nicely. Hmm. You see that, guys? Well, I'll try that another time. Right now, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. That actually works pretty good. That gave it a smoother look. Well, I'm just going to keep doing this. If you don't have Gamsol or Odorless Mineral Spirit, then you can just use super, super hard pressure <laughs> with your pencil. But I think I'm going to go back over it to smooth her out with this, with that Gamsol. It actually did something that I really, really like. Hmm. Okay, guys. Discovery. Not really. So I know you're like, oh, heavy pressure. It's just that hurts my hand. Yeah, it hurts my hand too, but... Oh, well, sometimes you have to do what you have to do with what you have to do it with. The beautiful prismas may not always be. Oh, I'm getting a cramp in my arm. <laughs> I may have to eat my words because, oh, this is rough. Okay, maybe I can lighten up on my layer. Unless this just be my last layer, but lighten up on it. Lighten up on the pressure knowing that and I can turn my barrel to my sharp edge and do some small little strokes by these eyebrows so I won't be getting too close to them and turn my barrel back to my do you see what I'm talking about guys let's see you see that yep you see that slant I'm keeping my pencil on this area, this flat area, instead of that sharp area, because that will make a, um, a harsh line. We are almost done with this layer. Oh, I can't wait till this layer is done because it's killing me. It's killing the hands and the arms.
Okay, so I would definitely have have to um, do some blending out of some sort because it's not as smooth as I would like it, just leaving it with the pencils. I was able to do the neck with just pencils um, because I was a lot more, you know, patient because it was just a small neck, but then this whole face is like huge. So <laughs> I got impatient. Now I have lines and stuff. So whatever. So what I'm going to do now is take the darkest color, which needs to be sharpened. And we're going to do a few shadows, do a little bit of shading. So I hope it allows me to add more color. It's allowing me to add a little bit, not much. Okay, and we'll do a little shadowing here, right under her bang. And right under here, there should be a shadow here. Okay, that's looking good. Oh, okay. It's looking okay. All right. So now we'll do our Gamsol with our little brush because we want to smooth it all out. So apparently I don't need a whole lot, just a little bit. So I just barely rubbed my brush over it. Yeah. So, okay, that is blending it beautifully, guys. Oh my goodness. Get away, piece of lead. Uh oh. I like it. I like it. I like it. And this is actually an elf. Elf Professional Concealer Brush. It's not even a paintbrush. So it's a makeup brush that you can get from Walmart or Dollar Tree for $1. And it seems to be working well. Put a little bit more on my brush. And I'm going in small circles, not pressing down hard on the paper. This is really working out very well. Get a little bit more. I don't want too much on my brush. Yeah, see, that's too much. When you can see the page wet, that's a little bit too much on your brush. And let's turn my brush over. Try to get rid of some of these pencil lines that I made. And try to blend this shadow, this shading, blend it in a little bit better. Oh, I'm loving this result. I really, really am. Oh, that little bicycle dude is out there again. Ugh. 
him and his moped it's a little kid that likes riding his moped type bike oh i've got too much on there uh oh and then it's getting on my other page oops oopsie Okay, let's try to blend these lines out right here a little bit. I think she's looking pretty good, guys. Let me zoom in for you. Yeah, I think the skin tone is looking pretty good. I will let it dry and I might be able to put another layer on there. But let's work on her eyeshadow for right now, okay? So I'm gonna leave those pencils out. So eyeshadow, what color, what color, what color? Should I do some metallic eyeshadow? Or should I, I kinda want a neutral color cause I don't want her to look like a drag queen. So, let's see, what color the lids? What color should I make the lids? Maybe this pink metallic color. Let's see how that looks. And we're just gonna do a hard layer. Not a hard layer, a heavy layer of color because I don't wanna really blend anything. I just want a good layer of color right here. Okay, got that lid color down, yes. Okay, and my next transitional color, if you guys didn't know, I love makeup. My next transitional color, and by the way, that metallic color was 127. Now we're gonna do like the purple, and I'm gonna do a little bit lighter layer because I do want this to transition a little bit better. I do want it to be able to blend. So I'm doing pretty quick, short circles. And I don't want it to be too much color. And let's take it up right under the brow. And then under the brow, let's get our silver, our lightest. I love makeup, 028, so I love the fact of making her face up. So I think I'm going to take that silver, that metallic silver down a little bit more. Yes. And then I'll take this 134 metallic purple and go over it one more time to kind of blend both of those out. And get that silver again. And let's see what happens. Let me wipe my um, paintbrush, concealer brush off. And just use a dry brush and just see if it blends it. Oh yeah, it does blend it. That's nice. It blends the makeup like it's real makeup. Yes, hey, okay guys. Oh. Yes, guys. Okay, so let's do this on this side. Oh, wrong pencil. We're back with the 134, the purple, the soft layer. A 
light layer. Now let's get our silver metallic. And let's get our purple metallic again. Don't go all the way up. And get our silver and come down a little bit on top. And let's get our dry brush and kind of blend it. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. So it's pretty much dry now. The skin tone. Now to even the skin tone out, I probably could see if I can do another layer. I probably should try one more layer. Let me get my lightest pencil and see what will happen. I don't think I want to try it. I don't think I need to try another layer. I don't want to start peeling through my paper or anything. I think she's done when it comes to the entire skin. This whole skin job. She is done. Okay, so to do her finishing touches, I am going to get a gel pen and give her a few finishing touches and do the finishing touches on her. Um, her eyebrows. Let's get my black. Where is my black? Number 12. No, I need 137. That's a super black. Oh, and I have to go and get my Sharpie to do her lashes. I want to fan her brows out a little bit more. There we go. Now let me go get the, the Sharpie so we can have some lashes. Okay, guys, so let's get my Sharpie marker. And give my girl some lashes. All right. Okay, now let's go back through. All right, I think that's enough lash for her. And let's do this side. Okay, that's enough lash on that side. Now let's give her a little sparkle under, not under, but in her uh, tear duct. Let's highlight her tear duct. Now, which, 
I think I want to use a gold. Use this orange um, gel pen from Promark. Yes, that's exactly what I want. And I think I would like to get, let's see, should she have glitter eyeliner on? Of course. <laughs> so I'm going to get my black glitter Kelly art gel pen and the line under her eyes. Let me start right here. We're decking her out guys. Come on, pencil pen. And she needs some eyeliner up here. I think she needs a wing, a wing eye too. Like a wing liner. Yes, she does. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Oh, yes, yeah, she's looking just like me, guys. Mm -hmm. I think she needs a little more. I want a more distinct color in those tear ducts, guys. So maybe I need to get my pink glitter pen. Let's see. Nope, that one's, that's not working. No, I don't want that. I think I better stick with that. That orange yellow looking. I actually don't like that at all. Let me see if I could take that up. I'm taking it up with the pencil. Yep. Got that up. Now let's put my that gold back down. Okay, guys. Oh my goodness. Yes. Let's zoom you out. So should I add, I wanted her to have matte lips, but someone was like, and you need to make her lips have that little shine to it to give it that, you know, that shine look. So they were like, it makes it look more professional and Oh, pretty. So let's see. Should I do that? I guess I will. Since she insisted. <laughs> so I guess she'll have some shiny lips. Let me find my white gel pen. So let's see. Where should I put it? Maybe here. Ew, that, that doesn't look good. <laughs> I better leave that alone. <laughs> right now. <laughs> for right now. We're just going to leave that alone for right now. <laughs> it looks like she ate, drank some milk and it's crusted up on her lips. <laughs> okay, we're going to leave her alone, guys, because I think she's she's ready. She's done. So that's it, guys. Here she is. I know her skin's, skin is not perfect, but we were trying to hurry up and do her, guys. But 
Trust me, it's blended enough. Okay, so that's it. That's our demo of using our Hero Pencils to achieve skin tones. So thanks for watching, guys. See you on my next video. Bye.